What's up, Cal Gang? All right, so we got this, uh, this you know, projectile motion question. So I'll go ahead and explain it really quick. So you got this person, and you're trying to throw this uh, rock over the fence, right? So you're 14 meters away from the five foot fence, and you're throwing it from 1.6 meters off the ground at an angle of 56 degrees, and you're trying to find what's that initial velocity that you need to get it over the fence. Let's do it. All right, so just get it over the fence. So when you have these kind of problems, you basically just want to write your kinematics equations. These are going to be very valuable to you. All right, so let's go V naught, or let's say Y naught. We're trying to find V naught, and we're going to have some things we need to find. So let's go ahead and do it. So Y, you know, is equal to one half, uh, or acceleration times squared, plus V naught in the Y direction times time, plus the initial Y position. That's our kinematic equation. So what do we want for this? So we know acceleration is gravity, and we want to get this V naught Y in terms of just V naught because we're gonna end up with a lot of unknowns, and if we can combine all those unknowns into just a few, then that's gonna be great. So let's draw a triangle. I love drawing triangles. So we've got a triangle here. And we know that our angle is 56 degrees. Right, this is basically the velocity, like in perfect, as soon as you throw it, this is its velocity. So this is V naught, right? This is what we're trying to find. And then this is V naught Y, this is the initial velocity, but in the y direction, and this is v naught x. So what are we trying to find? v naught y right now, right? So v naught y, uh, we're going to need to use cosine, right? Cosine, or we're going to need to use sine. I just made this mistake earlier. Sine is opposite over adjacent. So we know that sine of 56 is equal to v naught y over v naught. So then if we're trying to just get v naught, and we're trying to get rid of v naught y, all we need to do is move this over. So we're gonna say V naught, or why did I put that? Oh, my racer is so far away. <laughs> v naught, sine of 56 is equal to V naught Y. Perfect. We can just substitute this in for this, and you're just gonna end up with, basically it's a different unknown, but you're gonna see later why we needed to do that. It's because we're gonna end up with two unknowns, and we wanna combine those unknowns. So. Why? We're trying to go five meters up, right? We're, tr we're trying to see what that initial velocity when we get there is, right? So we're gonna say Y is five meters. That's where we're trying to go. That's equal to, uh, acceleration is 9.81. So it's gonna be negative 9.81 divided by two, T squared. So then V naught Y becomes V naught sine of 56 T. And then Y naught we know is 1.6, right? That's our starting Y position. We're that far off the ground. So let's go ahead and simplify this a little bit. Uh, or let's, let's leave it like that, that's fine. We don't need that yet. We'll simplify it later when we get to it. So now we're gonna look at the X position, right? Let's look at, you know, what we have here is we have V naught and T in the same equation, and we don't know either of those. This T is how long it takes to get here, and V naught is what that velocity is in order to get there. We don't know either of those, and we wanna find them. So how are we gonna do that? Well, we're gonna need another equation. If you have one equation and two unknowns, you can't solve it. If you have two equations and two unknowns, you can solve it. So let's think about x, right? Let's, if you're always wondering, if you're struggling, just find y and x, and you can probably work from there. So we're gonna use the same kinematics equation, except in terms of v naught y, it'll be v naught x. So let's think of the x direction, right? Uh, acceleration, there's gonna be no acceleration in the x direction, right? Uh, the only acceleration on our object is gravity, right? And that only pushes down. But if you're thinking about it going sideways, it's even when it's going up and down, it's gonna go sideways at the same speed. There's gonna be no acceleration acting on it, is what I'm trying to say. So this is gonna get canceled. V naught, it'll be V naught X, which is the initial X position, which we're gonna find here, times time, uh, plus it's X naught. Uh, that's its starting point in the X direction. Basically, we're gonna take this to be its starting point, right? So X naught is gonna be zero. Great, so this is our simple equation. So let's go back here, right? We're trying to find V naught in terms of V naught X. So we know cosine of 56 is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, right? So this is gonna be V naught X over V naught. So we're trying to find V naught X, so we're gonna move that over. V naught cosine of 56 is equal to V naught X. So what we can do is substitute that right in. So X is 14 meters, that's where we're trying to get to, right? 14, why did I write 15? 14 is equal to uh, V naught sine, or cosine, cosine, excuse me, of 56 times T. Uh, 
there we go. Now we have two unknowns. Very nice. So we have two unknowns, v naught and t, and two equations. And we can go ahead and work this out, right? This is really cool. So let's divide over to get v naught by itself. I'm going to solve. I'm going to solve for time first, and it might seem kind of weird while I'm doing that, but it'll be useful later. It'll help you. You know, it'll help us basically do it my way. If that makes any sense. If you want to be creative from this point, and you you, you kind of like seeing sparks in your brain, you can go ahead and solve it a different way. And what you want to do is you want to set v naught, or you want to set t equal to some equation, and plug t into this equation, and see if you can do that and get the same numbers. That's a good test. So 14. But let's divide it by cosine. 56 t, and then that's equal to v naught. So now all I have to do is sub this v naught right into this v naught, and what you're going to get is uh, 5 is equal to negative 4.905. This is just gravity divided by 2, t squared, plus, and then it's going to be 14 over cosine 56 t sine of 56 t. So what you're going to see right here, these t's are going to cancel. And then sine over cosine is tangent, so we can write that later, and then this is plus 1.6. So now what we want to do is we want to get a zero on one side, because you're kind of seeing that this could be a quadratic equation, right? Uh, actually, I don't know why I solved it that way. You could solve this way different. I use this with a quadratic equation. You don't need to do that. What I'm going to do actually is move everything over to the other side. So you're going to take 5 and then subtract 1.6. So that's going to be like 5 minus 1.6, and then minus 14 tangent of 56. And that's going to be equal to negative 4.905 t squared, right? Uh, so basically, um, you're going to take whatever this is, whatever that number gets, yeah. Uh, and then you're going to divide it by negative 4.905. And then you're going to take the square root of it. And if you do that, oh wait, hold on. Is that going to work right? Oh yeah, I guess it will. t is going to give you a positive number. I'm gonna get, it's going to give you 1.88 seconds. I'm actually going to plug that in my calculator because this is different than the way I did it earlier. And I just want to make sure, right? You know, I don't want to be dumb and then figure out later that I got it wrong. It's looking good. It's good. It's good. Woo yeah. Math, uh, math works out correctly. So that's how long it takes to get over the fence. Very cool. Let's uh, expand. So we have time. And then all I need to do is find v naught. So let's, this is a way simpler equation. You can plug it into either one of these, and actually you should probably do that if you're doing a test, for example. You can plug it into both of these equations and see if you get the same v naught. But let's go back here. So we have that uh, v naught is equal to 14 over cosine 56 t. So then we can find v naught is equal to 14 over cosine 56, and then t is 1.88, and then you're gonna get a v naught is equal to 13.3 meters a second. There you go. So that's how you find uh, how, how fast you need to go. So I'm going to go ahead and erase everything because I don't have any space left. And then we're going to get started on part B, which is going to be a lot simpler than this. Uh, yeah, this is probably fine to get rid of. This is probably fine to get rid of. I'm just going to keep that there. That's a very good number to have on the board. What is part B asking? It's asking how far, basically, right? Yeah, it's trying to find how far. That's gonna be a lot simpler, probably. Let's find out. All right, so let's see. If we're trying to find how far, that's gonna be x, right? So x is gonna be equal to, and we're looking at a kinematics equation. There's no acceleration like we said earlier. So it'll be v naught x um, t plus x naught, uh, which is a starting position, right? So you're looking at this, you're like, oh, I could probably solve it. I have v naught x. Or I have v naught, and I could find v naught x, um, but I don't have time, right? You don't have time, and that's unfortunate. We need to find how long it's going to take to hit the ground again. Uh, sorry, guys. So we need to use our y equation. So y is equal to negative nine point eight one divided by two t squared plus v naught y t plus its initial one point six. How long is it going to take to hit the ground, right? Okay, so we have everything but t. So y, we're trying to see how long it takes to hit the ground. So y is going to be zero. This is going to, you know, 4.905 t squared. Uh, we said v naught y is equal to v naught sine of 56 times t plus 
And what you're going to have to do here is the quadratic equation. Uh, actually, I didn't write a number here. This V naught is that V naught we found. This is uh, 13.3. Uh, so what you need to do is the quadratic equation. All right, so V naught sine 56. This number becomes um, 11.0. This is negative 4.905. So A is equal to this, B is equal to this, C is equal to 1.6. And then you know you gotta do the T is equal to negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC over 2A. So you plug these numbers into this equation. Uh, I hope you guys know your quadratic equation, it's very valuable. And you're gonna get T. You're gonna probably get a negative number and a positive number. So T, uh, actually you are gonna get a negative number. Don't worry about the negative number. That negative number is basically saying if you went back in time to like when the object was still in motion, how that's how long it would take in like negative time. Uh, we're not doing that obviously, so you're gonna get that it's uh, 2.39 seconds is how long it takes to hit the ground. So then all you have to do is just plug it right back into that equation like we did earlier. Just bring that over here. So x is equal to, so it's got 13.3, but then v not x, so that's gonna be cosine of 56, and then times time, 2.39. We're gonna get x is equal to 17.76 meters. There are your two answers right there. So yeah, only 12 minutes, nice job me, woohoo! Yeah, that's gonna be a beast to upload. So yeah, good job me, uh, got 10 minutes left. All right, so yeah, good luck on your physics homework, guys. If you have any troubles, stick around. This is probably like the hardest problem you're gonna get. Something like this is pretty difficult, but if you can do this, if you can like get this with confidence, you're gonna be great at kinematics. So good luck on your physics homework, guys. See you in the next one. Thanks for all the support.